This is very good. I hope you didn't open it for me. Certainly I did. To welcome you into this house as my son. I can't tell you how glad it makes me. Robert, I want us always to feel we can be honest with each other. Of course. Because Mary's told me about your present difficulties. Oh, she was right. Losing Downton will affect you both more than anyone. I wonder if she's told you about the will of Lavinia's father. But why can't you benefit from the will? You've done nothing wrong. When Swire made it, he didn't know I'd broken his daughter's heart. It was to reward my fidelity, when in fact I'd betrayed her. If I kept that money, I would be no better than a common criminal. I see. Well, if that's how you feel, then there's no more to be said. I'm ever so sorry, my lord. I thought you were out of here. Yes, we should be. Please, we're going now. I'm going to see Jarvis today and find out what houses are available. Do you have to? And these are our last days here. I thought something might have turned up when we were away, but it seems it hasn't. Would you rather wait until we have to go and find a new house, then? After all, darling, you're the one who's pushing us out. Are you all right? You seem to have been slaving away for hours. I want to be up to date with it all before I go back into the office. Anything from Mr. Swire's lawyer? You can read it if you like. So you are definitely Reggie's heir? Looks like it. But if they have to get a death certificate out of the Indian authorities, it won't all be settled by Tuesday. Good. Why is it good? The delay may give you time to change your mind. Stop punishing me, Mary, please. If I accepted the legacy, I would be taking money under false pretenses. I'd be stealing. Your father understands. Now, why can't you? I don't think he understands at all. He just doesn't want to beg. Anyway, I'm off to Granny's for tea. I'll see you later. I do love you so terribly much. Yes, I know you do. I had a telephone call from Charkham earlier. Charkham? Reggie Swire's lawyer. It seems the death certificate has arrived from India. He wants to bring it here. Well, can't he send it? He wants to bring it. He was quite definite. I've told him he can come tomorrow. There's nothing going on particularly, is there? You know there is. We're taking a picnic to Aero home to see the house we have to move into. I'm surprised you of all people can forget that. <sighs> well, he's coming in the morning. I won't put him off. So this is the moment when you receive a huge fortune that could save Downton and you give it away. Will you choose where to give it? How can I? I'd give it all to Papa. My darling, I hope in some small part of you you can understand. I'm trying. Really, I am. But I can't pretend I'm doing very well. It must be strange to receive a letter from a dead man. It's very strange. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Mr. Charkham, to snatch him away. That's quite all right, Lady Mary. Uh, there will be papers to sign. Yes, I expect there will. Papa's asked Anthony to meet us there so we can all face the future together. He's bringing Isabel and Granny. It's hard for your grandmother. Matthew, it's torture for all of us. And if I ever look as if I'm finding it easy to lose my home, then I am putting on an act. What did Charkham come for? He gave me a letter from Swire. It seems he left one for each of the three potential heirs, when and if they inherited. Mine is the only one to have been delivered. And what did it say? I haven't opened it. I can't decide whether I will. Why wouldn't you? Because I know it'll be a paean of praise. How Lavinia could not have found a better man, etc. 
And you don't want to read that? Since she could not have found a worse one, no, I don't. I already feel bad enough, and if I read his words, they will stay with me forever. What do you mean you've read it? I didn't think it was right to destroy a man's last words without reading them. I felt it was wrong. It wasn't your decision. Well, I made it my decision. Do you want to hear what he says? No. To start with, Lavinia must have written to him on her last day, only hours before she died. Well, that's nonsense. There was no letter found in her room. Be that as it may, she wrote to him after she tried to persuade you to call off the wedding and you wouldn't. This is quite impossible. <sighs> she loved and admired you for this sacrifice of your own happiness and she commended you to my care. I can't listen to any more of this. You must. I have few intimates. And so I've decided in her name to add you to my list of heirs. I think it unlikely that I'll outlive both the first two, so there is little chance of your reading this letter. But if you do, and if the money has come to you, know it is with my full knowledge of what transpired. Please do not allow any grief, guilt or regret to hold you back in its employment. God bless you, my boy, Reggie. Are you sure you didn't write it? I assume you know his hand. Not well enough to test a forgery. Besides, she couldn't have written to him without our knowing. I'm not accusing you of faking it. I suspect someone has. Am I interrupting? Oh. No, please. I just want to ask you all something. Milady, I'm sorry I've not been up. Don't worry. I'll change properly after luncheon. But I had to catch you when you were all together. How can we help, my lady? It's a funny thing. Mr Crawley has heard that Miss Swire sent a letter on the day she died. If so, someone must have posted it for her. And we wondered if it were any of you. I'm afraid not. Uh, given that the poor lady passed away that same day, an incident of this sort would have been reported to me or to Mrs Hughes. That's right, my lady. I see. Well, thank you very much. What was that about? Lady Mary wanted to know if anyone had posted a letter for Miss Swire. Oh, I did that. Daisy, what did you say? Poor Miss Swire's letter. She'd written it and she asked me to put it into the box in the hall. Why? What were you doing in her room? Making up the fire. We started talking and she said she'd written a letter. She was ever so nice. I still get sad when I think about her. And it didn't occur to you to tell me? Tell you what? Never mind. I am grateful to you, Daisy. You cannot know how much. What should we do now? There's nothing we can do beyond removing all signs of a wedding and holding her hand while she recovers. She will, of course. Meanwhile, it's time to face the business of leaving Downton. Without the wedding to hide behind, there's no reason not to get on with it and astonish the world with the extent of my wretched failure. Actually, Mary and I intended to make an announcement at dinner. What announcement? What about? You don't have to leave. I'll explain it later, but... I'm going to give you Reggie's money. I'll accept it. And I'll give it to you. Don't be silly. You're not going to give me any money. But I am. You don't want to leave. Nor does Mary. Nor do any of us, for that matter. I still won't take your money. What I will allow is for you to invest in the place. If we stay, you'll share the ownership. It'll be your house, your estate, as much as mine. We will be joint masters. But... And if you won't agree, I will sell, and it'll all be your fault. 